So I was just thinking about your relationship to animals, mm -hmm. and would you say that size matters? <laughs> I, mean, I just mean like, are you more or less trepidatious about a horse? or animal based on their size. I can't predict what they're gonna do, and I'm a very sort of kind of hands-off, relax. Like, I think that's why I like cats. Because ah. they're like, I have no business to do with you, so I'm gonna leave. That's right. You know what I mean? I like that. I think, like, dogs are very thirsty. They're like, <laughs> and I just, I don't like that. Humans are really what freak me out. I know. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. So you've never been around like sheep or donkeys or? You know, in a car when you're driving on the highway and you see. <laughs> Does that count? You've seen animals from a car. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel like you're perfectly qualified to handle this. So these are all goats and sheep. I think we should play a game where we go in and you tell me what kind of animal you're looking at. <laughs> okay. That's a donkey. Yeah. Uh, That's a llama. That's a donkey? Is that a donkey? Is that a horse? Is that a pony? <laughs> See that? What? Why are they making noise? Why are you making noise? <laughs> he doesn't know who I am. I'm no. in his living room. Like... He doesn't have HBO. <laughs> he hasn't heard of you. You don't listen to Tudo <laughs> Queens? <laughs> oh, gee. These are little baby goats. Oh, they're all baby goats. Is this okay. not cute to you at all? Oh, pooping. <laughs> it's poop. Poop. You live with a man. I know, but it just fell on his butt like a freaking Pez dispenser. It does. <laughs> it was a lot. Here. Ugh. I felt like Justin Bieber coming out of like his Four Seasons hotel, <laughs> and there's a bunch of like 15 year old girls who are like, Justin! Probably smells worse. Yeah. <laughs> the donkey's dick is out, very comfortable around you. Wow. Do you see the donkey I'm, dick? I am honored. Can we get a boomerang of that? I just think when they're sniffing your crotch, it's very aggressive. Yes. I mean, but that's where his head just happens to be. I don't right. think it's assault. Right, he didn't bend down. Yeah, I to... don't think he's interested in. Yeah. Good. No offense. Yeah. <laughs> good news and bad news. Okay. This donkey doesn't want to have sex with you. This little That's drink. so cute. More. You want to go for a walk? Huh? With sure. an animal? All right, Hamlet needs to engage his core. <laughs> yeah, Hamlet, you know. Needs a Peloton. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see all these baby dragonflies? Where? You don't see oh, all? Oh, yeah, now I see it. These are all baby dragonflies. That's cool. It's magical. Oh. New York City. I know you're used to seeing human shit and trash on the side of the road, but this is a beautiful, <laughs> magical moment in nature. <laughs> Nothing. Does he have a name or she? You want to name her? What would you name her? Uh, Denise. <laughs> what would you name this one? OK, Denise and Gail. <laughs> And they run a PI firm together. Yeah, or I was a PR firm. Yeah, but PR. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I'm Gail. And I'm Denise. And together we're Gail, Gail and Denise. Denise. I have proof that your spouse is cheating, and I will catch them. And if you're cheating on your spouse, I'll help you look good doing it. Call us today. Don't be a dumbass. Get it? Because we're donkeys. I feel like because of all your work with animals, just like how sweet and patient you are, you're going to be an amazing mom. Like, I could oh. just already sense that, you know really? what I mean? Really? Yeah. You're very patient and you're very understanding. Do you want to be a mom or no? I don't know yet. Mm. Is that weird? No, but you, but you froze your eggs, though. I did. Right? I froze my eggs. Okay. Uh, they're okay. beachfront in Redondo. <laughs> they are very nice real estate. And as long <laughs> as no generators go out, we should be good. Yeah. Well, that's a, that, was that a hard process? Yeah? Yes. I'm just going to yeah. say yes. I'm glad I didn't know how hard it was before I did it, because I probably wouldn't have done it. The cool thing was that a lot of my girlfriends and I got much closer, because I cannot use needles to save my life. So yeah. I would like go to my friends' houses being like, can you put this in my butt? So every day, one of your friends had to put a shot in your butt. Yes, and I'm so wow. glad I did it. Afterwards, yeah. I just felt this like weight lifted, because I found myself in relationships. Like, the bar was just getting lower and lower. Yeah. I was like, oh, you've only been married twice. That's cool. <laughs> you know, like, oh, it's fine. You have six roommates. It's good. You're a people person. <laughs> like, I just found as I was getting older, yeah. my bar for the people I was dating was getting lower and lower. And then as soon as I froze my eggs, all of a sudden, my bar got real high. Yeah. And I'm really grateful. It's like getting insurance. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Do you want to go see the horses? Am I going to get dirty? You already are dirty. I Here's know, what I'll yeah. say. You okay. know what the dirtiest thing is on the planet? Men. <laughs>